Braxton Braxton from BZ underscore builds and we're back again today. I know I'm a little late to the train or whatever with um or with the C8 Z06 reaction video, but as y'all just saw, this thing sounds phenomenal. So what we already know already is that it's gonna be naturally aspirated. Um and it's gonna have a flat plane V8. Right? So a plat a plat a a flat plane crank V8, you know? So think of like your Ferraris, think about the Ford GT350. Like that's what gives it like that shrieking sound, you know? Um, and I'm dumb excited. Like I've been keeping a bit of a close tab on the C8. Honestly, like the base Stingray doesn't really do it for me, but I mean, no base Corvette ever does it for me, but I can just tell that the Z06 is going to be the sweet spot in the C8's lineup. Cause you know, they, they have the base, they're gonna have the Z06. They're talking about, I don't know if they still gonna have the ZR1, but they're talking about the Zora that's supposed to be like a hybrid, turbo, thousand horsepower type vehicle. So I'm just super stoked for the true driver's car in the C8 lineup, which is gonna be the Z06. Um, and it seems like that Chevy went back in time and they're benchmarking it against the 458 Italia. Like, if you look at the similarities, you know, like both of them, um, if you look at the weight um, of the 458 versus the C8, if you look at the nationally aspirated V8 making like 600 some horsepower, uh, if you look at the dual clutch transmission, like there's a lot of um, just uh, similarities there. And I just think that this is going to be like the ultimate C8 for me personally, you know, but I'm a track guy. Uh, but the C8, the C8 Z06 has big shoes to fill because there's a lot that's expected of this vehicle. Because if you look at cars like the 992 GT3, um, like like those cars are going under seven minutes at the Nurburgring right now. And the C7 ZR1, it never reached that benchmark. And that was their goal to go under seven at the Nurburgring. Right? So I can only imagine that those Chevy engineers have just been like, living you know like at the office like figuring out how to make this happen you know like how they can make this car as quick as possible and i think that this car is really gonna be a world-class beater as far as price there's no there's no real official pricing for it yet but what i'm personally thinking is a base price somewhere near the 100k region but with you know with options you know because you know they're gonna have whatever packages on top of that, like they always have had Z07 packages, whatever. Um, I can see this car probably capping like one, 130s, but that's just my speculation. I have nothing to prove, you know, I, I have no information to really go off of that, but that's just my idea where I feel like this type of car would be priced because in reality, like the base C8 costs like 70, 80K in the spec that everybody wants. So. It would just make sense to add about 20 grand to that price without options. So I'm definitely excited to see where this goes. I had actually made a comment um, on that video I had showed y'all and, and like y'all can search for it yourself, but I said, man, I can't wait to own one of these in like 10, 15 years. But like people were saying, yo, so you might not get that opportunity. And they're saying that because like the internal combustion engine is dying, you know? And this may be one of the last great naturally aspirated um, engines in our lifetime, you know, because as everything moves to smaller displacement, turbo, hybrids, full electric vehicles, like <laughs> cars like this just aren't being produced. And that's why I can, you know, I congratulate a lot of these American manufacturers for giving us these last hurrahs, these Hellcats, you know, these GT350s, just you know, like the ZL1s, just all these amazing petrol powered engines. And now Chevy with the C8, like what I'm assuming is a 5.5 liter flat plane crank V8 engine making 600 horsepower and like 500, maybe, you know, like maybe high 400 foot pounds of torque. Like this thing is gonna be crazy. Like, so I'm dumb excited about this. Um, Chevy, You had my curiosity, now you have my attention. And I wish I was in a position where like, I could afford one of these cars, because I would love to own it. I mean, I haven't even seen it yet, but I just know, like, this is what speaks to me, you know? So my camera had died or whatever, but I'm back. But yeah, man, this car, phenomenal. I mean, I'm 
I'm stoked. I'm here for it. I'm on the hype train. Like, I can't wait for this thing to drop in 2023. And I definitely hope I get to see one, you know, just around, just to pick through the details. And I'm looking forward to um, possibly one day owning one, uh, a use a C8 Z06 when that time comes. But until then, y'all take it easy. <laughs> That's all I got, man. Um, but if you want to talk more car stuff, because I'm about to start doing a bit more videos like this, just giving my opinion on car news and just what's going on in the car industry as a whole, definitely make sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Take it easy. I'm out. Yeah. Huh.